Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create movie poster in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description, download it, use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want that completely designed PST file means hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, open the PSD file called poster inside Photoshop. First we are going to create a background for our movie poster. Go to the folder you downloaded, open image 1 inside Photoshop. We are going to use this image as our background. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. I'll place the image inside background folder. Enable free transform tool, shortcut Ctrl T and resize the image. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next, we are going to add a color lookup layer. I'll keep the option as Kodak 5218. This one. So now we are done with our background image. Next, we are going to bring in our UFO space shuttle image. Go to the folder you downloaded, open image to inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. I'll name the layer as UFO. Now enable free transform tool and resize the image. I'll give a slight rotation. I'll place it here. Next, we are going to add shadow. For that, create a layer. Make sure the layer is below the image layer. I'll name this one as shadow. Now go to color picker and select black color. Enable brush tool. Go with soft round brush and create a shadow like so. Now I'm going to add a blur effect to our shadow layer. Go to filter, blur, Select Gaussian Blur, keep the radius as 12. Fine, now we are done with our shadow layer. Next, we are going to add some effects to our UFO image. Now, create a color lookup layer. Clip mask this one by clicking this icon. I'll keep the option as soft warming look. Change the blending mode as soft light. Next, we are going to create a curve layer. Again, clip mask this one. Select blue. I'll bring down the curve a little bit down below on the top one also, down below slightly. Okay, so that we will create uh, some minimal yellow kind of tint look to our UFO object. Next we are going to create a brightness and contrast layer. Clip, clip mask this one. I am not going to touch the brightness. I will reduce the contrast down to minus 12. So now we are done with our UFO image editing. Next we are going to bring in our model image. Select the model layer. Now go to the folder you downloaded, open image 3 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the in image inside of canvas. If you want, you can resize the image here. I'm not going to resize the image. I'll place it here. To create a realistic effect, I'm going to add shadows to our model image. 
for that create a layer make sure the layer is below the model image name this one as shadow one now go to color picker select black color enable brush tool select soft round brush zoom in and add shadows to our model image I'll give few clicks Fine, next we are going to create another shadow layer. Create a layer, name this one as shadow 2. Again, I'll go with the black color, but this time something around uh, something like a off black. I'll go with the same soft round brush. I'll create a shadow in the shape of alphabet V. Sorry, before that I'll reduce the flow down to 50% because we want the shadow to be minimal. Fine, next we're going to add a blur effect to our shadow 2 layer. Go to filter, blur, select Gaussian blur. Here I'll keep the radius as 25. Click OK. Next, we are going to make the model shoe on the lift pod a little bit darker because we are having a light source on the right side. For that, create a layer. Right click and click past this layer. Now go to edit, fill. Select 50% gray. Keep the blending mass overlay and opacity 100. Click OK. Now select the blending option as overlay. Now select burn tool keep the range as midtones exposure 50% and give few clicks Fine, next we are going to add few effects to our model image. Let's start by creating a color lookup layer. Again, make sure to clip mask this one. This time I'm going with the soft warming. Change the blending mode as lighten. I'll reduce the opacity down to 45%. Next, create a curves layer. Again, clip mask this one, select blue. Now I'm going to pull down the arrow down below on the top one, little bit up. Click OK. Next, we're going to add inner shadow effect to our model image. For that, select the model image, right click, blending option, select inner shadow. Select the blending mode as soft light. For color, go with the color DDC9AF. I'll keep the opacity as 100. I'm not going to change the angle. Distance as 34. Choke 0. Size 10. Now click OK. So now we are done with our model image editing stuffs. Next, we are going to add our movie title. Select text layer. Create a layer and type in your movie text. Here I'm going to select color F A P E C3. I'm going to type in some mock up movie title. I'll increase the size as 169. The font I'm using is a free font. You can download it. I'll give the link in the description. 
I'll place it here. I'll create a duplicate copy. I'll reduce the size. Fine, now we're going to add effects to our movie poster to create a, some cinematic kind of color tone. For that, let's start by creating a photo filter layer inside effects folder. Select deep yellow option. Make sure the color is F5D400. Click OK. I'll keep the density as 35. Now you might have seen our poster change it dramatically okay next we are going to add a color lookup layer here i'm going to select candlelight cube this one is too harsh i'm going to reduce it down to 55 percent next create a curves layer select rgb i'll bring down the curve a little bit down below fine our poster is almost done as a final step, we are going to bring in a fire sparkle image inside our canvas. For that, go to the folder you downloaded, open image 4 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Place the image inside UFO folder. That would write below the UFO image. Now change the blending mode as screen. By enabling free transform tool, I'll resize the image. Fine, next I'm going to add a minimal smoke effect for that create a layer, place this layer right below the fire image, go to color picker, select off black, something like that, enable brush tool, ok I'll keep the flow as 50 and give few clicks so that it'll, it'll look like something like a dark smoke. Fine. We are almost done. As a final effect, we are going to add vibrance layer. Create a vibrance layer. Increase it 15%. Click OK and now our movie poster is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button. For more Photoshop tutorials, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, take care.